Hey everyone, it's Martin and today we're taking a look at this smart lock which can lock your cabinets, drawers or maybe closets with a single press on a button. Interesting? Yes. But there are also quite a few downsides, so let's dive right into it. So right off the bat I can tell you that this is Yilok, which is a company that sells its product to Xiaomi's Yupin store. And therefore this is not a Xiaomi product or an ecosystem company product, but rather more like an allied company to Xiaomi. So this lock is smart because you can connect it over Bluetooth or an application. And no, this is not the Xiaomi Mi Home application, but rather their in-house developed application. And that is the first downside. And because there is no integration with the Mi Home application, it's not possible to set automation rules. Other people even try to sniff out some data being transferred over Bluetooth, but so far they can't make it work it, for example with a Raspberry Pi or implement it into their smart home with Homey or Demotics. And on top of that, the application is not fully translated and buggy at times. And another thing that I have to mention is that in airplane mode, it does not allow you to lock or unlock. But with Wi-Fi and data off, I am able to and that is very strange of course. So what does it do? Well basically with this lock, you can lock any kind of closet, wardrobe, a cabinet or drawer for example, with a single press on a button over here. Connecting. Yeah. For example, a cabinet with strong medications and you want to make sure that your children won't be able to open it. If you open the app, you can easily open the lock and it will automatically lock after it's closed again. Now you can also turn that feature off so that it will stay open until you lock it again yourself. Now all of that works just fine, but I sense that you have one burning question. What if the battery runs out of juice? Well, first of all, in the application, you get a notification that, hey, your battery is about to run out. Secondly, if the battery is about to run out, it will just retract and then you can just still open your closet. So there's nothing to worry about. However, strangely enough, you cannot check the battery status yourself every once in a while, as there is no permanent battery status indicator on the lock itself, nor the application. Uh, the two AAA batteries last around 180 days with opening once a day and closing it once a day as well. So the box itself is fully covered in Chinese. And in the box itself you will find the lock of course, but also four super adhesive stickers. But there is also a metal mount and some screws in case you want to mount it somewhere permanently. There's also a user manual in Chinese and a sticker with a QR code that you need now and maybe in the future, so don't throw it away. So what do I think? Well, I think it's a very cool and interesting concept, but the execution is very poor and I would love to see that Xiaomi is stepping in and just putting their Xiaomi sauce on top so it becomes first of all available in the Mi Home application. It's all in English and all of these small features that I want, for example the battery status indicator, are implemented into this because that would make it so much more interesting with automation rules for example. For $18 or approximately $16 to $18 it is not expensive but the product definitely needs to mature. So in case you're interested I will leave some links in the video description and next to that like button and that subscribe button in case you aren't already. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to give the video a like and I hope to see all of you in the next one.